we are Becca and Zach, a couple who recently, after years of dreaming, bought ourselves a beautiful 40-foot Colvic Victor sailboat. Life is short and the world is wide and there are so many lessons to be learned. Laughs shared, people met, adventures had, and nautical miles to be sailed. And this is our way of sharing it all with you. Welcome to the Tailey. Bloody doing it. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Today is the long awaited video and that is, you guessed it, the boat tour. Woo! <laughs> it's taken a little while, we've had a lot of other videos we wanted to get out before now, but yeah, we're ready to film this. But the boat is by no means ready. We just wanted to give you guys a kind of look into what of it's how like it is now. now. Yeah, yeah, because it's going to change. A lot of the stuff will stay the same, but we want to upgrade a lot of things. So we thought it'd be really cool to just do a kind of a base point here yeah. for us to look back on, for you guys to see what it's like now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an outside and an inside, and um, we'll probably start with the inside and then head out. What aren't we going to do? We're not going to show you inside all the cupboards on this video. If you want to go and see that, you have to go to our Patreon page and get on that. With this one, we could just kind of do like a, a brief tour around without kind of getting in all the nooks and crannies. But if you want to head over to our Patreon, the link is below. It's Tailey Tribe, spelled T-E-U-L-U. -E and so we'll see you over there for the nitty gritty details. But for now, stay tuned for our, our boat tour. Woohoo! Before we dive into the tour, we want to give you an overview of our boat. Tailey is a 1987 Colvic Victor Ketch, meaning she has two masts. Colvic are unique in the fact that you will never find two identical boats. This is because they were all outfitted independently of the manufacturer. She is 40 foot long and has an encapsulated keel and protected rudder, making her an incredibly safe blue water cruiser. Now fire away, Zach. So we're gonna start the front of the boat and work aft. At the very front here, we've got our V berth. Right up here, we've got our anchor chain locker and our windlasses up here as well. Underneath here, we've got our bow thruster, which is this big old unit here. We've got our battery, which can house our bow thruster there. And this little aerial here is for our remote control. So we've got the bow thruster as well. So we've got two remotes that we can use and operate the bow thruster wherever we are. This bow thruster is pretty big for the size of the boat that we've got. You could have really gone the size down for this, but I guess it's no harm having a slightly bigger bow thruster, but it is a, a unit for a boat this size. Now we're gonna go to our forward head. This is our forward head in here. We've got a marine toilet down there. For those who don't know what a marine toilet is, you basically gotta pump it to flush it. It's not like a normal one at home where you can just press a button. Yeah, we've also got a little shower head in here as well, so you can have a shower. Any water that gets on this floor here drains out and goes into the bilge. So you can have a shower in here. It's kind of, it's a bit of a wet room, so you can kind of get everything wet and it'll all just drain down into there and empty out through the bilge. This is our galley. We have our induction hob and our big work surface, which we absolutely love. This actually used to be another cabin. This was the wardrobe. Over here, we've got our lovely surf map of most of the surf spots in the world, at least the well-known ones. We love cooking here and looking at the map. And then below here, we love this detailing. It's also from the same oak tree that our saloon table that we're about to get to was made out of. We just think it's a really unique, lovely talking point on the boat. We have all our tools in there and we have our clothes washing stuff there. We have our pots and pans and all of that up there. And then coming round, we have our larder and this is where we keep the majority of our dried non-perishables. We have our gas hob and oven, which is gimbaled. This is just our kettle because we're on anchor right now. Our appliances, we've got these beautiful flowers, which that got me for my birthday. And they're kind of wedged in there at the moment. And then coming around, as you can see, this is a very realistic boat tour. We have just done our washing up. So anyway, let's come around and have a look at this wall. So we have our radio here, which we can plug into an iPhone, which is lovely. And it has speakers in our saloon and out in our cockpit. We have our fire alarm, carbon monoxide alarm. Moving down, we have our microwave and we just had a bit of a disaster before filming this because we turned our fridge off because our batteries aren't great. Forgot that obviously all the ice in the freezer all melt and it melted directly into our quiche. <laughs> so we had to move it out. So for now we just have a quiche and, 
out of sight, out of mind. And then moving on, oh, we have our fridge here. Coming on to one of our favorite bits of the boat is these two stairs. We may say, why the stairs? <laughs> Simply because this is our bar. So opening the top one and we have all our wine spirits. And then coming down, we have an endless supply of oat milk. We also always have a ton of these high waters. And then we also usually have beers, but I guess we drown them all. <laughs> the last bit of the galley is we've got our fire extinguisher, fire blanket, water heater switch, and our tea towels. Here we've got our main saloon area. We've got our autopilot system. We've got all of our gauges for the engine over here. We've got our bow thruster over here. We've got our 12 volt supply, obviously a compass over here, and then our helm. So up here, we've got a lot of the stuff that we use the most. We've got a big old flashlight up there. We've got our sunglasses, a few books that we're using quite a bit at the moment. And then moving on over here, we've got our amazing sliding table. So this slides both sides, so you can actually get in and out nice and easily. This table is actually made by the last owner. It's actually got some interesting bits about it. So it's made of oak and obviously resin in there. And the oak was from a local tree from around here, which fell. Obviously needs a little bit of polish at the moment, but nice little addition to the boat. We've got our speakers, one here and one over there as well. So underneath where we're sitting at the moment, we've got a ton of storage. We've got a load of our wetsuits under here, board games, and a load of other bits. But this all pulls back and all these seats come up and there's, there's tons of storage under here pretty much where most of our things are kept on board is around this whole area here. We've got our fruit net over here and we've also got photos of people who've come on board so far. Over here as well, we've got our manual bilge pump. We've got our engine charging switch with the different batteries that we've got. And then we've got our domestic charging station over here. We've also got a fire extinguisher and yeah, a nice little mat down there for our shoes. And moving across the boat to the starboard side, we've got our pilot berth over here. So at the moment, this is kind of got odds and ends in it, but when we're on passage, it's be kind of the bed of choice, I guess. <laughs> Underneath our pilot berth here, we've got a 200 litre flexible water tank that we installed ourselves. It doesn't look like the prettiest thing, these little blocks of wood on here, but we just wanted to raise the bed a little bit just so it didn't rub on the on the big old tank there. Underneath here, we've got the rest of our water supply and we've also got another two 100 litre tanks. bring our total amount of water to. 300 litres. 400 litres. <laughs> 400 litres. <laughs> I said it with such confidence. <laughs> That's 100 litres, another 100 litres, and then we've got also all of our water valves and control switches for us so we can isolate where the water and the boat is coming from. So if we want it just coming from that tank, we can just have it coming from that tank. If we want it coming from both the tanks, we can have it coming from both the tanks at the same time. We've also got our water filter in there as well. We've got a water pump. And then over here, we've got our control board for pretty much all the electricals on board. Um, they're all labeled up. So we've got the VHF over here. We've got the GPS, uh, other instruments. We've got all of the plugs on here can be isolated. So pretty much all of our electrics run through here. Over here, we've got our nav station. We've also got our EPUB. Down here, we've also got all of our navigation equipment. We've got our VHF. We've got our fairly old chart plotter with the hope of the upgrade at some point. We've got an iPad with Savvy Navi, which we're using at the moment. We've got nav text over here. Obviously not the printed out one. This is the digital one, which comes up on the screen. Yeah, the VHF is there. And then we've got our two uh, bow thruster controllers there and all of the information for the boat is there. And then underneath here, it's obviously our chart table. It's got a load of bits, so it's got our laptop in there, it's got our log book, and it's got kind of a load of other miscellaneous bits in here that we use. We've got a load of charts in here as well. Behind the nav station, we've got our portable VHF, and we've also got our little sat phone here as well. Underneath here, we've kind of got all the information about Tailey. We've got our manuals and instructions in here for pretty much every appliance on the boat. We've got our official documents. We've got some sailing instructional books. Over here, we've got our stationery and kind of other pens and pencils and bits like that as well. Moving on down the stairs, we get to mine and Zach's quarters. Heading back, we have our cabin. 
which we absolutely love. We've got a double bed going that way, but we've chosen to sleep that way, which means we've got kind of a single bed added on to the bottom of a double bed. So we've got a very large bed, which is very nice. If I lay in the middle of it, I can't reach the sides. <laughs> So it's really, really lovely. And we've got a hatch above our head, which we can just look up at the stars at night. So what's not to love? We have all our clothes stored in drawers like this. If we were wondering why we have these little um, bits of clothing wedging the drawers open, it's to stop the door from banging, a common occurrence on a rocky boat. And then one of our favorite bits as well are these little ah, touch lights. We have our dehumidifier, our charging station for all our camera gear and we have Zach's wardrobe in there. Coming across my wardrobe is right here. Played a little magic trick there. This is like a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we've actually done a full 360 past our bed. We've got our whiteboard. We also have just our car keys hung up, towels here. In here we have all our foul weather gear, life jackets, safety lines, things like that. Can drip straight into the bilge there. And then through here is our engine room. This is a massive thing that sold us the boat because a lot of boats don't have great engine access. So it's really important for us. We could kind of get to all points of the engine. So come into our little engine room. Firstly, we have our massive engine. It's a Soul Mini 74, and it's only got about 400 hours running time. So it was replaced quite recently. We're really, really happy we've got this engine. Then over here, we've got our main bilge with our bilge pumps in it. Can't really see, but it's just down there. But we have our water tanks just over that side. And then we have our hot water tank. It's nice when it gets a bit colder in England to have some hot water. And then oh, I'm gonna turn around. Da, da, da. We have our fuel tank, this big, tank here which is a custom tank it is 300 liters of fuel we also have our fuel filters here and then we have our battery bank and ch battery chargers currently we've got two starter engine batteries and we've got two domestic batteries um, and we've got two different chargers for those two and then coming through this is our head and I'm gonna turn the light on for this because we're kind of out of the sun here And then come around here, ta-da! <laughs> As you can see, a full loop round. Now we're on my side of the bed and we're pretty minimal to be fair. We don't keep a load of stuff out on the sides because as you're sailing, things just go everywhere. But, but we have just some chargers here. My clothes are in these drawers and hatches. We also have storage, a ton of storage actually, um, underneath our bed. It's been a few hours and we've had some dinner and we thought we'd show you guys the outside of the boat. We're gonna start from the stern and work forwards. Here we have our davits. We don't currently have a dinghy, but when we do eventually get a dinghy, these will come in really handy to help lift it. We have our navigation light. We have our two lovely rod holders. Thank you, Dale, for those. We have our swim ladder here, our ensign, which I fixed. We're just, we're not gonna talk about that. In here, <laughs> we have our stern locker. So on this side, what we have is our exhaust, some spare water jugs, which we hauled out in this video. All our free diving and snorkeling stuff. Our fins, that spear gun. Down here, we have all our eight strand, which we've yet to splice and put on the anchor. And we've got our spare rock and anchor there. And then going around, we have our, new and improved gas system there'll be a video about that you'll see it soon <laughs> we turn it off after every use which i'm actually going to do now because we used it for dinner <laughs> coming down here we have two diesel jugs they're empty at the moment obviously because they're on their side usually they'd be stood up we also have a bucket full of all our lines we have a spare horseshoe boy and we have two really long lines hung up now the goal is to get all of those hung up at some point but that's what we're working with right now Moving round, we have Zach's fishing rod. We have Zach's fish surfboard and my surfboard. They're just out here because they get really hot everywhere else and the wax will melt. So they're just out on the deck for now. We have our life raft cradle. We do actually have a life raft. It's being serviced. We have our life buoy. We also have a, you can't really see it, but we've got a safety line. And it's also got one of these lights, which should it turn that way up, it starts flashing. <laughs> so this is the furthest aft hatch that we have on the boat and it is mine and Zach's. 
We obviously have our, our mizzen boom, our mizzen sail, and our mizzen mast. And then we have our outside helm, our compass, which has is in a little capsule, and our table, which we made. We have our winches on deck. In these cubbies here, we have our electric cable in each side. We have a winch handle, and we have our Genoa sheets in there. So we've got all the instruments here. So you've got an outside speaker here. This is the engine vent for the fuel tank. We've got our auto helm over here and we've got our alarm for the auto helm. So if we do end up going off course when that is set, that will go off. We've also got another speaker here. Over here is our main traveler system. Moving forwards. Over here, we've got our fuel intake nozzle here. This is our main mast over here. This is pulled out here at the moment because when we're on anchor, this kind of bangs against the mast so we keep it a bit further out and stop it from clanging so much. We've also got a whole load of winches here. This one doesn't actually fit any of our winch handles at the moment, which is a little bit of a pain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a new winch for that at some point because it's quite an old Lumar one. So all of other ones fit these winches, no problem. But for some reason, that is a very old one. It's just never been changed, so. We're gonna get rid of that one at some point. We've got a few hatches on deck here. This one which leads to the V-berth head and then this hatch here is going to the V-berth. Going all the way to the bow of the boat now. Got our nav light right at the very bow. We've got our windlass here and our windlass button. The anchor that we've got down on that chain at the moment is a 40 kilo delta, which a lot of people are gonna say is very oversized for this boat, but I think we'd rather have an oversized anchor than an unsized anchor, especially when we're still trying to find our ground with anchoring and everything like that. So we've also got a snubber on. These are used for when you're at anchor, you don't want a lot of force going through your windlass. So it basically goes back and it's tied off at one of the cleats here. And then up here, we've got our Genoa sail and our rolling furlex. We've got the galley hatch here which is recently done. We've got a vent there going into the galley as well. And then if I keep going. We've got our water inlet. On our main mast, you can see our anchor ball doing its own little dance right now. We haven't quite figured out 100% how to, how to hoist that yet, but we'll get there. Going up, we have our anchor light, which you can't see right now. We also have our Windex at the top and our VHF aerial. And then on our mizzen mast, we have a space for a radar, which we hope to get in the future. And then above that, we have our radar reflector. Okay, so that is our boat. That is Tailey. It's Inside a, and out. It's good to show you guys exactly what boat we have. We hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you all again next time. Bye, Bye guys.